Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alvaro, although I go by the name of uh, Formiga, so we're here in YouTube. This is a very special uh, this is a very special uh, road over here in Malaga called the A7000 which is uh, very known to, to bikers and people who enjoy their cars as well as a fun place to come and blast around a little bit it's very technical and at this moment uh, it is also very full of books but well that's just life I guess So, wow, I am getting massacred by books, holy shit. Today I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about the topic of whether if um, sport bikes uh, still make a sense in today's world and always talking uh, about them on the road and also how the Aprilia RS660 fits uh, in all of that. So I'm going to start by defining a little bit what I consider a sports bike because um, some people, I believe, are kind of uh, similarly to the class on itself. Um, some people are kind of uh, very uh, radicalized on the stances on what is a sports bike and what is not a sports bike. To be honest, to some extent I don't blame them, because we've had some weird times uh, with sports bike uh, in the last uh, 20 years or so, where they kind of have been relegated to the 600cc class and the liter bike whereas before we had a pretty healthy small displacement uh, sports bike uh, market where you could find uh, bikes all the way from 50cc uh, with very tiny engines that barely made uh, 8 or 9 horsepower at least not <laughs> Going through the 125ccs, 250s, some uh, 300s, 400s, 500s, and it's kind of strange because everything kind of has disappeared with time. We feel left with a market with uh, not all that many options. Also, a market where many of the bikes uh, are competing uh, in the same category and therefore kind of been a little bit too alike there's a whole segment of uh, 600 uh, cc bikes that were generally described with the F stance uh, or, or letter which were a little bit more relaxed uh, sport bikes those are pretty much gone there still is some stuff uh, kind of uh, on that range of things in the liter class but generally I would say that on the sub liter class they're pretty much all gone I think I, I've, I've made all this huge uh, go around basically and I still haven't said what I consider a sports bike for me a sports bike is irrelevant uh, to the power a bike that seeks uh, both proficiency on the performance as well as providing the, the rider with uh, with a different feeling than that that you get from other bikes more thought to be everyday friendly for me it's not just about the, the performance it is also about how the performance is delivered and quite honestly on this uh, description you can fit a whole lot of, uh, of bikes which classes a little bit with what I said that the class is uh, a little bit empty now but I have a point I promise I, I will eventually arrive to it I guess it has to be said that many people only consider sports bikes uh, to those bikes that have a fairing but then some people don't consider a sport bike to this bike because it has this race clip on so as I said, the, the stances are kind of uh, very extreme and some people seem to think that anything sort of a race bike 
or something like an R6 uh, from Yamaha is just not a true sports bike this is something that I've been said many times not a true sports bike I think they're confusing what it, what a sports bike is with a, maybe a super sport which kind of uh, gives away many of many things in order to be mainly effective on the track and not necessarily on the road and I guess that if you believe that all these super sports are true sports bike then you have a point to some extent but the thing is sports bike is pretty much a broad term with not really defined lines so saying that something is not a true sports bike is kind of yeah for me while I might say it about some bikes I will always try to give some context on why I say that and I don't know I don't think that race handlebars alone especially if they're this small are enough I consider the Kawasaki Ninja 650 as a, a sports bike it is kind of tamed one that is true but it is a sports bike and it does have race weapons very raced actually and also very far back which helps uh, being upright but it's still a pretty decent sports bike and it handles really well on the twisties and it's a good bike it's a little bit too boring for me I don't like too sensible and that fits really nicely <laughs> with the point that I wanted to make which is that for quite a while there has been only very sensible sports bikes and I would fit bikes like the Ninja 650 all the way to the CBR 650R that category and then there has been like the true super sports that don't necessarily make a lot of sense for the road but are really effective on the track in between there has been a gap that is exactly where sports bikes used to be around before like the sensible stuff was left for more sensible bikes from the concept and the let's say the super sports from back in the time were less radical and less aggressive on things like for example the riding position the power delivery and realizing this fact and doing a product that was able to fit properly in that gap while keeping the the soul of the brand is why this bike is so important to Aprilia and such a good thing in my opinion we'll have to see if the market agrees with me it's probably a little bit too early to, to tell and I believe this bike does it really well it does it really well because it has more adjustment than the sensible bikes the sensible sport bikes which is able to change it uh, a little bit from being maybe softer to being more aggressive and in this range of adjustment you cover brilliantly this gap that you have and that we have been talking about before some people will never forget this bike for only having 100 HP some people will never forget this bike for having the race weapons and if they ever did they would simply put it away and get a custom triple clamp where you can play some proper clip-ons like they would say some people will never forgive the fact that the adjustability is not as much as it could have been and I might be one of them but the fact is that Aprilia had a goal and they achieved it so well if, the, if this bike fits with what you're looking for it is a really good bike with a little bit of the typical Italian flavor which means uh, some things will be annoying some things will not work quite as you expected them some things will be a little bit flamboyant you know, Italian stuff but you end up liking it at least me I remember the day that I collected this bike from the dealer it was raining a lot, so I couldn't really enjoy it. But at the same time, 
was a really good day to understand that while this bike uh, has been advertised as pretty uh, new rider friendly this is no joke man honestly I'm not the kind of guy that would recommend starting with this bike and I have not some people have already asked me on my channel and on my RS660 videos where if I think this is a good first rider uh, bike I just don't really think so look the bike is just way too fast and the engine while not being a 120 HP four cylinder has plenty of power to get you in trouble and I find it a, to be a bike where you kind of have to move around quite a bit to get the full performance and that's something that new riders don't quite do especially not well when there are bikes that provide their efficiency without needing to do all this uh, moving around the, the seat which honestly gets tiring <laughs> it's fun but it's uh, it's also like proper work do I think that this bike fits well within the available slot that I believe is pretty empty at the moment I think so I think it's a really good fit and it's only gonna get better in terms of having uh, more stuff available uh, aftermarket with time because it is still a pretty new bike and while some of the bikes have been around for really long and have a really big catalog of uh, pieces available it's not the same on this bike but it will eventually be so well we're pretty much done with our route we're also pretty much done with the topic that I wanted to comment I would like to say you guys thank you for spending another 15 or 20 minutes with me appreciate it a lot don't forget that if you like this video give it me a like over here in YouTube helps a lot uh, with uh, YouTube salary and I want to wish you a really nice time see you on the next video bye bye